Hi guys, welcome to FC and I've just submitted um, 195 cards um, to PSA and here's um, sort of an installment of, uh, of posts. So we've got um, probably what two boxes here. I imagine there's about 40 to 50 cards altogether and um, yeah various players and these are these are cards I just had in my my in a case that I had that I haven't graded for a couple of years so let's let's kick off and see what we get so here's the um, here's a first box um, of about um, I suppose about six or seven boxes eight boxes um, yeah we've got about some um, 30 cards or 25 cards in each box and uh, let's go through them now so the first card that we have is a 2020 tops x cristiano ronaldo from his own series and that's the beginnings and that's numbered three out of five so that's just amazing psa 10 with an auto so that's amazing that's really good didn't think that would actually get a PSA 10 but it did so that's great a great start great to be back again after quite a quite a while over a year actually not posting any anything as I've just um, relocated to the UK from uh, Bavaria Next, we've got um, yeah, I've got a I've got a series of um, I've got every Panini, Cassiatori, Paolo Rossi sticker, um, and this this submission is is uh, nineteen seventy nine or nineteen eighty onwards. So um, what was it nineteen eighty one onwards? So I've got um, yeah, all of the Pan Panini, Cassiatori, Rossi's um, graded, and. Um, yeah, the next um, the next uh, submission is coming back, and that's got everything from pre sort of nineteen eighty, and uh, that will have the remainder of these um, Paolo Rossi cards. Um, so yeah, that's that's a great start. PSA nine. So we've got two really good cards uh, to start with. Yeah, really difficult to get high grades in um, for stickers from PSA even harder from um, SGC actually so yeah good start here we have uh, 1983 uh, Panini Cassiatori Palo Rossi so for Juve here in the six we have 1984 Panini Cassiatori in a grade eight so that's a really nice set and that features actually Maradona the Maradona sticker which is probably the number one sticker in the set with the Ariston kit next we have uh, yeah he moved clubs so he's got um, Milan Milan strip here and that's 1985 and that's a grade six grade six for this one yeah so grade eight for the 84 that is really really hard um, very very tough to get to get high grades for stickers so next we have some mega cracks 2004 rookie cards uh, campion ones this is a campion I, I put in a couple of campions um, from this set for Messi and that one got a grade 8 which is great with his move to Miami yeah Messi cards should be absolutely going crazy over the next uh, over the next year or so and the other the other campion is this 2004 um, Panini Mega Cracks in a grade 7 number 62 yeah, that's for me. That's the second best in this little set of three, with the thirty-five, sixty-two, and eighty-nine. A 
as a grade 7. Next we have um, quite a few campios. I went to Barcelona, I uh, visited a friend and uh, we went to the market and we got loads of uh, loads of sort of campio cards because they're all Catalan being campio and uh, the folders so we we bought those and graded them so yeah this is a grade three so yeah they're really poor um, some of these uh, cards but just thought to have them graded because um, why not messy they are rookies as well We have a low grade four in a Campio again. Yeah, you can see in the corners, whitening of the corners. But yeah, nice to have these. I've got, I've got quite a few of these in my collection. I probably might sell a few of these uh, cards, I think. Um, next, we've got a Campio grade six, number 35. Let's uh, open up. And we have a grade eight. That's really strong. So yeah, just a little, little damage to the corner here slightly, a little whitening there, um, but otherwise really good. But that's a brilliant grade eight on a Campio. Rookie card for Messi. And we've got another eight, another Campio, grade eight. Yeah, for me, these are the best, um, the best of the three, being portrait. Almost like, yeah, st sort of the stickers when we grew up with the albums, they, they were always portraits and not sort of a playing um, pose yeah they were always portrait so that's great another eight and we have another eight this is the last one of the 35s so yeah nice little set there of 35s and a 62 yeah so I had lots of folders and um, yeah, bought some in the market, as I said, and uh, just decided to grade them. They've just been with me for quite some time. Next, we have a 1982 Edis Ediciones Este Maradona. These are great. So this is his first card at Barcelona in a grade four. Hard to get high, grade, high grades on these. I have got an 8.5 of this one from SGC. Um, next is a grade six of a Chromos Cano Maradona, which I think is the second highest. I think um, grade seven, my last video was is the highest for this card. So that's really good. Hard to get grades um, higher than higher than six and yeah so I'll take that and this is amazing this is um yeah there's a pop three of this now um and this is the highest grade it's 1983 Marga Maradona which I think is one of the most beautiful um Barcelona cards with featuring Maradona um number 48 yeah, hard to get some um, higher grades, usually gets sort of fours and fives, um, but this one got an eight, so just amazing. Really happy with that. I'll definitely add that to my PC. Yeah, and next we have another eight <laughs> of that card. That's amazing, because I, I had put um, a number of these through SGC um what a couple of years ago and the highest grade i think i got was a six so yeah really happy to get two eights so i've got two thirds of the uh the pop with these that's fantastic uh, 
Uh, next we have a grade three of the 1984 Ediciones Este with Maradona. Yeah, that's nice. Grade three, quite low grade, but yeah, very difficult to get high grades again. So yeah, guys, this is, um, yeah, these are all sort of cards I just had of, um, yeah, for a while in a, in a, in my case and, uh, decided now the price has gone down for PSA. They were the cheapest of the three graders, um, at $18 each I just thought oh wait let's go and um, grade them so um, yeah next I've got 1984 Cromo Esport Diego Maradona sus dribbling sus goals so that's a grade 7 I think that's the highest grade for this card So more Maradona, we've got 1987 Panini Calciatore, um, Diego Maradona in a, a um, excellent mint at a six, so grade six for number 180, card number 180, or sticker, Calciatore, like the green background on that. And uh, finally, for this box, I've got 1984 Ediciones Casiotori Diego Maradona in a grade six. Yeah, I really like this one with for Napoli. Yeah, that's very nice. Right, for the second box, let's see what we have. Right. Yeah, just before I do that, these are the these are the cards that uh, weren't graded. Um, yeah, so one was an SD sticker that I've had for about three years in a in a folder. This is 2019, sort of winter, 2020, uh, January. So um, yeah, that's that's original. So I've got, yeah, I've got the whole set of these stickers. I just thought to grade this one, but it came back. So it's now come back from SGC, um, PSA and Beckett. So no one's grading the SD sticker right now. Um, yeah, and this is June, so uh, yeah, over the last year, year and a half even, no one's graded the Este sticker, so that's a shame. Um, the other cards I had um, that weren't graded, uh, a foil that's been sort of miscut in the factory, um, that's a shame, but got yeah, got some of those back um, on my last uh, video post, so that was... They were good, good grades. Um, I also got a 2006 Mega Cracks. So yeah, his his second full year, third season with um, Barcelona. And that came back as recolored. And I've got a feeling that I did send this to SGC and they said the same thing. So it must have a little corner or something um, colored. The next one was a, a Maradona card that I hadn't, really seen before. I um, thought that was an amazing sort of sticker or card. Um, and it's got all the details on the back. From 1990, Fratelli Valardi, editorial of Fratelli Valardi. Um, yeah, just they didn't know anything about it and deemed it not uh, gradable. So yeah, no information for that one. So. I'll have to try it again and give them some evidence on that one. And lastly, this was, um, yeah, the, lastly, the card that wasn't graded um, was this amazing Maradona foil, uh, foil sticker that, um, yeah, from his first year at Napoli. And it's uh, Edizioni Zanetti 
from 1984-85 and uh, they didn't know anything about that one either and that's such a shame I think it would have filled out um, filled out the whole of whole of a, a slab but um, probably would have been put into a bigger slab but yeah have to give them more information on that one as well um, if anyone knows any anything about these ones um, let me know okay so following that the second box um, we've got a 2016 tops um, UCL uh, Champions League UEFA Champions League showcase in gold and that's out of 99 and got a mint 9 I wasn't expecting a 10 for this so um, but yeah pretty good copy that's great great for modern cards anyway numbered modern cards so let's put um, yeah, let's bring them over here next we have a PSA 10 that's fantastic for a Panini Select uh, in the clutch. That looks great. 2017. But um, yeah, great to get a PSA 10. Next we have another PSA 10 and that looks stunning. This is a Panini Select uh, Top of the Class Camo, Camouflage. Yeah, that looks great. Brilliant for, yeah, to get one of these in Argentina kit and the badge there, Top of the Class. Yeah, and that's a classy card. Very nice. Keep that in the collection. So next we have another PSA 10 with uh, this 2015 Panini Select. So yeah, Panini Select started this year, 2015. Um, so yeah, getting a lot of high yeah PSA 10s uh, for the modern cards, which is expected, um, as opposed to sort of the older sort of 80s and 90s cards. Um, yeah, and early 2000s, which are like 16, 17 years old now. So yeah, that's great. That's out of, let me just check. That's out of 299 featuring Messi in Argentina kit. Yeah, that's great. So yeah, a few modern cards here. So next is 2015 Panini Select. Yeah, it's the same card, but in his um, home Argentina kit, and that's a grade six. I'm not sure why that is so low. That looks pretty mint to me. There must be some really sort of deep scratch but I just can't see it. The back looks clean as well. That's out of 199. So yeah, I'm not sure what's wrong with that. But yeah. Happy with uh, happy with the uh, messy card. So next we've got an Erling Haaland. PSA 10, that's great. 2019 Tops UEFA Champions League Crystal. And he's he's just had the most amazing season, scoring what 50 goals or something, won the Champions League. And I suppose he could um, be a massive challenger to Messi for the Ballon d'Or, even though Messi is favourite and uh, he did win the World Cup. So um, yeah, that's a really that's really pleasing to get a 10. Because uh, yeah, they're, they're sort of acetate cards, plastic cards with um, easy to scratch. So yeah, that's really good. We have another ten of that. So yeah, they grade well. And I've got another ten, and another ten. <laughs> And another 10, wow. <laughs> okay, so these grade really well. And another 10. That's all the Haaland cards from Tops. So yeah, that's great. Don't, I don't know if the pop's really high for this, but um, yeah, I'll take that. 
Uh, we've got Mbappe in a grade nine from the same set, same year. And we have another grade nine. So yeah, nowhere near as good as the uh, Haaland. Uh, next we've got a bit, bit more messy here with early messy as well, 2005. So second season, first full season. Panini mega cracks with Vieri behind him for Juve. And that's a grade seven. A bit 71 again, but yeah, the second year, 2005 as opposed to 2004. His rookie, rookie card, his main rookie card. Next, we've got a 2005 Panini Este, which is good, very good for, for stickers, grade eight. Near Mint Mint, grade eight. And next we have a 2005 Panini Super Barca. Love this uh, album, which I've featured on the, the channel before. Um, that's a grade nine and mint. Very difficult to get uh, nines and tens in, in these. Um, yeah, always sort of uh, off center. So that's great. And we've got another nine. That's really good. Another nine for that sticker. Yeah, brilliant. Fills out the whole um, slab. And uh, yeah, that looks, that looks really good. Portrait shot again of Messi. Um, next we have a grade eight of that. And that's the last one of those. Yeah, number 49. And finally, the last card we've got a two that from the same set, from the same album. Um, Super Barca album in a grade nine and it's El Gampa de Messi and um, there's a little shot of Messi in his first season there. So that's really cool. Yeah, grade nine, number 80. So guys, really great to be back um, posting again and getting new submissions from uh, PSA. Uh, there's another five or six to come back um, and uh, yeah notable cards from this submission are the Campio grade 8 um, the uh, 2020 tops Ronaldo with autograph out of five so it's number three of five in a grade 10 Maradona Maga from 1983, first season at um, at Barca, fantastic. Um, and also the um, Super Barca cards, um, yeah, Super Barca stickers. They are really great in a grade nine. The camo, very interesting, in a grade ten. The Harland, Harland cards from uh, Topps Crystal in a grade 10 as well. And uh, finally, the um, Paolo Rossi 1982 with the previous stickers to come back very soon from PSA. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and uh, watch out for my next post, uh, which features more of this uh, submission, 195 cards. Um, there's gonna be about four, four more videos um, with cards um, from sort of the modern era, sort of post 1980. So um, yeah, guys, thanks a lot. And, uh, 
have a look at my Instagram for the rest of my collection and see you on the next post.